Hi, I'm Linda Jeffers, and I'm with Gulf Coast Funds. Could you tell me who you are, please? Hi, Linda. My name is Kim Ford, and I work for Housing Authority of New Orleans. I'm the Section 8 tenant liaison. I work with the over 17,000 Section 8 tenants to try to help them know what their rights are and what opportunities are available to them through the Housing Authority. Could you tell me right now uh, what you see as far as the difference and what do you feel as far as housing under Section 8 from 205 to now and what role you'll be able to play? Well, I came to, I was displaced by Hurricane Katrina in Fort Worth, Texas, and uh, I was able to get back home and have my own house rebuilt in 09. I came back in 09. My house was finished in 2010, so my husband and I, not so long ago, moved in at uh, the end of last year, almost a year now, wow. But, uh, <laughs> you know, and once I, and I knew that when I, and I had to, because I was so displaced and was paying a mortgage on the house I couldn't live in and rent on a temporary house while I was waiting for contractors to finish building my house, and I was able to get some housing subsidy assistance because I, I was go, I was so broke and used all of my savings paying rent and a mortgage and I had to fight the government to, so that they would give me a Section 8 voucher temporarily while I was waiting to get back in my house and so because I couldn't afford it I was about to be homeless. So and that's what made me want to be an advocate to help people who were uh, on Section 8. And plus besides that I come from a I, my, I was raised in a, in a saving off project, and my mother uh, was eventually able to get a job and save her money and move out of the project into Section 8 housing, and then subsequently became a homeowner. So I, I have a great initiative to help others to do like my family was able to do, to become homeowners and to be self-sufficient. Thank you. And what I'm listening to is that you are going to help bring the voice of people that are in Section 8, allow them to have a voice to be able to say what is going on, what is not going on, what needs to happen. Am I right? Absolutely. All right. To have them a voice to be uh, joined together with other Section 8 tenants who are facing the same issues that they are and to be empowered by that and be motivated. Being back in New Orleans now, six years later, Tell me, how do you feel as far as the progress New Orleans has made? Well, you know, that's a, 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 a big variety because in some instances I feel like uh, finally, thank God, we are finally uh, making our way towards a marvelous life. Some days I feel that way and some days I feel, my God, we feel so deep in the darkness. When is it going to happen? So it's some days good and some days not so good, such as life, you know. So it's okay, <laughs> you know, but long as there are people like me, and which there are a lot of, I feel confident that we're going to overcome because my God is a God who sees all things. Hallelujah. And him anything is possible. All right. I can do anything with Christ who strengthens me. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Could you tell us again what your name is? Again, my name is Kim Ford, and I currently work for Housing Authority at the Section 8 Center of Lionsville. Thank you so much, Kim. It's I love you, and we will be talking back with you. Okay, baby. Thank you, you and I love you. Love yes, ma'am. All right. All right. Bye -bye.